First, I'm going to start off by disconnecting the battery. It's very important to disconnect the battery before you do anything else because if the battery is connected, then it can damage the motherboard or any other parts. So you just want to flip the unit over and remove the bottom cover screws. Once the bottom cover screws are removed, you can take your plastic spudger and remove the bottom cover. And then just disconnect the battery from the motherboard. While handling a motherboard, you just want to make sure that you are grounded so that no static electricity causes damage to the motherboard or any other parts. So once the battery is disconnected, you can remove all of the screws in the motherboard and also the screws in this hinge over here. Once the screws are removed, you can start disconnecting any cables or wires. So you can disconnect the two Wi-Fi cables. The two USB ribbons. keyboard ribbon, touchpad ribbon, the speakers, and the LCD cable. And then before removing the motherboard, you need to loosen this hinge up. So just open the unit up a little bit and then carefully remove the motherboard. Now you can grab your new motherboard and carefully put it back into place. Make sure there's no cables or wires stuck underneath of the board. Once it's back into place, you can put this hinge back down. And then reconnect all of the cables and wires except for the battery. The LCD cable. speakers, the touchpad ribbon, the keyboard ribbon, the two USB ribbons, the two Wi-Fi cables with the white one going by the white arrow and the black one going by the black arrow.
Once the Wi-Fi cables are reconnected, then you can put all of the screws back in. Now to reconnect the battery, you can just take the battery cable and reconnect it to the motherboard. And then put the bottom cover back on. And then once the bottom cover is back on, you can put the screws back in. And now to verify the replacement, you can flip the unit over and plug in the AC adapter. Open the unit up and hit the power button. If the unit turns on, then that means the replacement was successful, and if you would like to check the battery, you can just unplug the AC adapter, and if the unit stays on, then that means the battery is working. So now you can shut the unit off and close the unit.